Yep. Hi everybody, Jonathan here from Captain Canine. I'm here today again with Finn. Finn's about two, two weeks in on his training program, doing really well. If Finn's dragging behind, we want to coax him up. The hand signal for the heel is the tap on the leg. Heel, good boy. When I come to a stop, I want to take a little half backward step. Heel, come, good. Get the dog to sit. Stay. That should be an auto sit. So that hand signal for the heel is a tap on my leg off when I'm walking. If I give the heel command, heel, good boy. Almost at the tail end of the heel command is that praise. I want to praise him right away when he's doing the right thing. When I sit, it's an auto sit. Stay is a hand right in the face. Stay. The intonation I use in my voice is also important. Eyes. Eyes. Stay. That's where the engagement work that we do with the dogs, each session, and especially at an early time in the training, keeps that dog's eyes on me throughout these drills. Down, because if his eyes aren't on me, how can he see my hand signals? He's looking at squirrels or he's distracted. Stay. The stay command is a verbal with the palm right to his face. When we start with these drills for the stay, we always want to walk before we run. I'll keep control of the leash. I don't initially drop it. If I keep control of that leash, I can correct the movement if I see it about to happen. And I'll go 25% one way, 25% the other way. When I start with the dog, I'm not talking to a camera like this. It's only us two, so all they hear is the commands. When I get with a new dog to a challenging position, stay, I initially have to reiterate the commands. Stay to reinforce them. With a more experienced dog like Finn here, I could just say stay once, come around. When I first start reaching for the leash, I reiterate the command. Stay, and I move slow, because I don't want him to get excited and jump up. With a more experienced dog who's been through it enough times, he knows to stay. I can just reach down and pick it up. Stay, is what I normally say as I come close. More experienced dog, I don't need to. Watch my body energy. Sit. Okay, stay. So I want to bring his energy up when I ask him to sit. Stay. When I do the C-O-M-E command, I want to move backwards, get him to incur movement from him. Finn, come. Good boy, good boy. He must sit in front of me. Eyes. Good. Atta boy. Hip. So those are some of the commands. Let's go through them one more time. Now I haven't asked him to do anything yet. When I'm ready, get my treat. Leash control in the right hand. Heel, good boy. Right away, I didn't praise. I come to a stop, tree comes up. The hand signal would be an upward palm like this. From this position, I like this for a down. Down, stay. From the front position, it would look more like this. Again, watch my energy on the SIT. Sit, I bring my energy up. Stay. Now, if I just said sit without the stay, he could get up and leave. I didn't tell him to stay. But here I said stay. When I'm in front of him, this is the hand position for the down. Down. If he delays, down. Good. Finn, come. So the come command is that outstretched arm bringing it into me. When we're all done, eyes, eyes. Yes, good boy. And there again is that terminal marker of the yes, getting him to finish that drill. I should do a boy. I should do a boy. All done. And there's my marker when my training's done.